What's going on, people? This is Rukid, and you are now watching Media Spotlight UK. Bah! Swag like a simmy, skank like Diddy. I was in and out flats like Gritty. Shot line ringing. Anti man like Vinny. Can't say names, but that guy really. Nino Brown, New Jack, my sick. Right, it's Kelly here from Media Spotlight UK. We are here at Relentless, and I've got Manly Rudkit here. How you doing? Yo, what's happening, bro? Good, good. Uh, well, we're here for your big party tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To celebrate the release of uh, Banger After Banger, which is out tomorrow. Yep, yeah, out tomorrow. Out tomorrow. That's a big day. How you feeling about it? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling great. Like I can't wait for people to see the video and for the single to be out. I'm excited. I mean, by the time this video comes out, the video. I will, will be out as well, so but make sure everyone checks that out. <laughs> yeah, make sure but, you check uh, that out. I saw the behind the scenes as well. And yeah, uh, it looked like just a, a typical, not a typical in a bad way, but a typical rude kid and gets style link up. Yeah, yeah. A lot of energy, lots going on. Yeah. Was that just like all good vibes? Yeah, man. That's 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 how we do it, man. We 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 don't try to be someone we're not. Yeah. Like this is this is what we do. This is the music we make. And we're having fun with it, man, and and that's the main thing, having fun with the music. This is another occasion where you and Getz have hooked up. Is he yeah. possibly your favourite person to work with? <laughs> Maybe. The chemistry's <laughs> definitely there. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, nah, the chemistry's there. Getz is, yeah, man, Getz, is, he's, he's my boy, man. Like, like like I said, man, no, when me and Getz get together and make a tune, it's always sick. Like, it's not ever going to be sick, man. Yeah. Like, he does his own thing with other producers. I do my thing with other MCs. Yeah. Like, but when we get together, it's, it's definitely a mad thing. Not in the same light, but it's like, for example, Justin Timberlake and Timberland. When they hook up, they know what each other's looking for. Yeah. Is that the case when you guys get in the studio and it's yeah? Like but I, I know what tune, what type of tunes he likes. Yeah, he knows. I've always got the tunes he wants, so it's like it's kind of yeah. But like I said, man, like he works with loads of other producers as well, not just me. Like he he's got an air for music. Like he he's actually very like he knows. Yeah, he what, knows. what what he knows what sounds good basically so yeah what's uh what's your favorite track that you and him have worked on together um i would say banger after banger ah conveniently which is <laughs> out tomorrow <laughs> just out tomorrow <laughs> i would have to say banger after banger yeah man yeah, yeah. the track itself right, it's got a lot of influences in it it's got a bit of garage it's got a bit of 90s dance almost yeah as well. do, do you know what that's just my style of making yeah. music I'm, I'm highly influenced by a lot of music and my my grime tunes ain't like everybody else's yeah i always try to do things no one else would do yeah. So yeah, yeah, man. I tried to keep it different. Yeah, I, I think that's why I took an extra listen to it as well. Like having that nineties influence in it. You don't really like the nineties dance. It's got that prodigy little sound okay, to it as well. Okay. I, I never. Maybe I got some sort of influence from uh, that. But yeah, it's I, just well, unconsciously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, the tunes. Whatever's in my head when I'm making a tune is what what comes out. It's like a painter. Like you just paint yeah start brushing start brushing and, yeah. and you get a, a, masterpiece, a masterpiece at the end <laughs> yeah man and it's the same thing as producing like i never sit down and feel i'm gonna make a tune like this or that no i, I sit down and i make music how i want to make music so. you were out in south by southwest yeah, man. you and a Just whole lot of other artists as yeah, well what, what was what was going on there obviously that it's a massive sick. festival yeah man that was sick right i just, it's just i just came back with a new mentality like i came back even more hungrier i feel like like the way people are over there as well, and the way the artists promote themselves over there, it's mad. Like they're hungry out there. Yeah. Like and the way the people look at Graham and the way they see Graham, it's like the mad thing is when I played Banger after Banger out there, I think it was the first time I played it. Like it was the second time I played it out to a crowd. Like and the reaction was sick straight away. Like and it was just mad to see people that don't really know about Graham. Yeah. But they like the vibe of, of the tune, so that that was sick. Man. I think that's almost like the perfect festival to yeah. showcase that type of that's, thing. That's what I said a lot. Like that, that right there is a perfect platform to show your music because these people don't know who you are. They don't know about Gram too much. So when you play it to them, it's sick. Like, don't get me wrong. There was people out there that knew about Gram. Yeah. Obviously, that's why they were there as well. But at the same time, there were people there that wanted to know what what the music was. So that was great showing them what we do. And I also out there like. I went on the streets and I showed people like the the banger after banger single on a, on a yeah. speaker, and I was getting their reaction as well, man. So well, that were was they it. like dancing on the street after it. Yeah, no, no, they were like they were they were they were confused at what it is, but yeah. they liked it. Like, and then I explained to them, this is grime, like this is our music. So, big up, big up. Right, you're a busy man. Obviously, we know that you present as well. You've got your own show on Kiss. Yeah, yeah. 
How's that going? Yeah, that's going really good. Yeah, that's I mean, really you've been doing it for a while now, but it's... Yeah, I think I've been on it for like six months. Yeah. So it's not that long. I, said, I, thought, I thought it was longer than that. It seems longer, but it's not actually longer. Right. Like, but the way Kiss have done, like, they've, they've made me feel right at home. Yeah. And like, yeah, man, I love it, man. Like, it's, it's, it's something... When I got the, sh- the show on Kiss, it was something that... It hasn't even really sunk in yet. It, it's mm. just started to sink in now. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, I'm on Kiss. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to the people, and the show is getting some serious love. Like, it's just doing this, doing this thing, man. I think it's almost like a testament to Grime as well, because yeah. after Logan uh, decided to sort of move on from there, yeah. then I thought, oh, Kiss probably won't have another Grime show. Yeah. And then, you know, it's back with yourself. Yeah, it's mad. It's yeah. mad. When I, when I got the phone call and stuff, like, yeah, man, it's... it's I was in Ibiza, I still remember, man, like... Yeah, man, it was my... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the dream. Yeah, man, I was out there working, like, doing a sh- I had a show out there, and then they were like, yeah, man. But you've uh, put your production talents to Wilkinson, you remixed We Will Be. Yeah. So was that just something the the, the label said, look, we just need you to remix this? Yeah, or? I think Wilkinson wanted me to do the remix as well, and the label were keen on it as well, because I've done a few... I did, I did, like, a Gorgon City remix before that, I did a Laura M. Vula remix before that. And I did a Chase and Status remix before that, and they were all sick. Yeah. So I think they were like, "Yeah, we wanna, we wanna do, we wanna get a Rue Kid remix." And like, shout out to Wilkinson because when I heard the original, I was like, "This is sick, man!" Like, so it, it just makes my job a bit easier when I have to do a remix. So yeah, big up them. You're at Eskimo Dance uh, April the eighth yeah, at yeah. Wembley next week, man. Yeah, next week. Uh, the lineup's crazy. So, yeah. what have you got in store? You got any surprises? It's gonna shut it down, man. You know <laughs> me and Gets, man. Like we're gonna shut it down. Yeah, it'll be. I think it'll be some mosh pits. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, this is just a couple of wheels. Just a load of people in it. Yeah. That's like the biggest grand rave. Big up Cheeky and Lils as well. That's that's like the the biggest grand rave like ever. Yeah, I think. Like, I'm just proud to be on the lineup. So yeah. Why do you think? Grime and UK music in general is in such a healthy place. Um, I feel like everyone's gone back to the to the thing where they they've stopped caring what other people think and they've started doing things themselves and everyone's supporting each other. That's why I think it's growing. Everyone's supporting, supporting, supporting. So if I have a single out, a lot of people will support it, or if someone else has a single out, they'll support it. Uh, yeah, man, that's it. I think it's more of like we're putting out our music and it's doing well without the help of anyone else yeah. or whatever like so yeah i wanted to ask you something that's quite uh, everyone knows in fact when they hear a rude kid tune are you ready that's your signature yeah, yeah. that's your trademark so how did that come so that life? came about of me being young like earlier i was shining like everyone as well like that sample was done it October the 5th, 2004, and I've never lost wow. that. I've lost every sound, but I've never lost that. Right, okay. Which is a bit strange, like, because I've lost loads of sounds, like, on my old computer and stuff. But, yeah, man, that came about of me just being a young guy, not knowing how to sample, getting a one-pound mic on the computer, yeah, putting the mic in front of a hi-fi, going through, like, a CD full of samples, putting it in front, pressing record in the sound recorder and using the sample and it's always been the same wow that's innovation right yeah now. yeah it's always because no one taught me how to sample no one taught me how to make beats yeah either so it was just learning learning and back then there was no youtube like that to so there might have been youtube but it wasn't popular they weren't tutorials yeah, yeah. on there and stuff but it was very self-taught everything diy so, yeah man so the only way i knew how to sample was get a mic put it in front of a a, a hi-fi yeah and get the sound even if it's rough quality and to this day i use that same like really sick uh, look, lastly so for any budding producers you know upcoming producers how can they set themselves aside from the other people how do you like be different man I, I tell every producer that asks for advice just be different do not be afraid to be different either like if you hear a rookie tune that sounds like this or a swifter beat a tune that sounds like this or spyro or whoever don't be like them because they themselves already yeah. be new like you'll stand out if you're different like if you're not different, you're not gonna stand out because you're sounding the same as Rue Kid. Yeah. But there is already a Rue Kid, so be different. That's all my tunes are different. Be and different. I'll, yeah, man. Be different. Don't look at anybody else. And when people knock you back and stuff, and DJs don't play your tunes, it's cool. It happens to everyone. It happens yeah. to me. Just stick at it. But stick at it. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what's the plans for the rest of the year then? Rest of the year, man. Just work, 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 man. Festival season's coming. Uh, just working, man. 
more singles. And yeah, man. You back in Ibiza? Yeah, I'm back in Ibiza for four times this year. Yeah. Yeah, four times this year. Uh, when do your family ever get to see you? I just see me all the time, man. I, I love my family. I'm a, I'm a fa- see me, I'm a family man. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not a really... Uh, I'll go and do my shows and I'll I'll come back. I'm not really a party person like yeah. that. Um, I'm, a, I'm a family man. Good, they good. see me a lot, man. So, yeah. Good. Cool. I try to always be around the family a lot, as much as I can. Yeah. Right, uh, Banger After Banger is out tomorrow. Uh, or whenever yes, this man. video gets released, it will be, it will be out. It's out, yeah. <laughs> 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 Swipe like a stimmy. Skank like Diddy. I was in and out, flat fight, gritty. Trap line ringing. Anti man like Vinny. Can't say names, but that guy really. Nino Brown, New Jack, my city. Kilo ounces, crap.